Now, nicotine is not only affecting or rewiring and changing the brain, it's also creating responses throughout the body. And that's because we have those acetylcholine receptors throughout our body. So what it can do to someone's heart is it can cause it to be faster. And this puts someone in a fight or flight mode. So our fight or flight mode is temporary and it's there to protect us. But when someone's using nicotine, it's mimicking that response. It can be very stressful to the heart and stressful to the body. So nicotine, this chemical in particular, I'm not even mentioning or talking about the aerosol here, can cause trouble breathing and damage to the lungs. So that's on top of all the aerosol chemicals that we've talked about today in the health effects section before this. Also can increase acid reflux. When someone is breathing in the aerosol, can sometimes liquefy, so it can go from its gas form back into a liquid and then drip into someone's GI tract or their digestive system. So it can drip in there and cause a reaction in the stomach. Okay, let's summarize some of the main points that we've covered in these last three slides. So we know that products such as Juul and Puff Bar contains high amounts of salt-based nicotine, but if someone's using frequently, then they're likely to become addicted. Now, this was a point I did not emphasize, but the developing brain or brain of a young person, as amazing as it is, as elastic as it is, and it's able to learn so many new skills and really absorb information, it can also be hijacked by drugs a lot easier than a brain that has stopped growing, such as an adult brain. And it's a lot harder to quit something such as nicotine when the brain has stopped developing. Nicotine will fool your brain into thinking that nicotine is important for survival. And that's what makes it difficult to stop using initially. Unfortunately, drugs such as nicotine will fire dopamine artificially, and the brain learns to dampen the response from nicotine. So when someone is having a withdrawal from being addicted to nicotine, they will want to use nicotine to fill that withdrawal symptom less. And cigarette companies have known about how nicotine behaves on your brain. They have used it as a business model to make sure that their customers keep coming back. And the e-cigarette companies continue to use nicotine just like the cigarette companies. So what I want you to do now is answer questions 18 through 21. What I will do is I will show you the key takeaway slide again, just in case you need to reference this. And if you need more time to answer your questions, remember to pause the video. And when you're ready, please click on the next section.